So I think I'm gonna take the suggestion of some people and go to the Tomb of the Giants next. Although I guess I had a variety of suggestions. Uh, I guess New Londo Ruins is one of them. Someone said I should uh, be giving the Lord Vessel to this dude before I go to the tomb. Heavens! You have done it! You have retrieved the Lord Vessel! After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. Apparently the journey is one long black screen. That's no good. Guess that's one way to get around. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Uh, guess I'll do that. Not much to see here. This is an altar? Looks like a tree stump. Like crap, how was I carrying that thing around? <laughs> Very interesting. Rest at Lord Vessel? Some sort of base of bonfire. Uh, I don't know what offering souls to it does. Oh, maybe it's only unique, like boss souls or something. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go to Domhnall or whatever his name is. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith. The four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. No. Don't eat me.
wonder what the rest of his body looks like. His thingies are, his flaps are like freaking out. Physics. Alright. Let's try to go get that armor. Small armor. Hopefully I have enough souls. Can't remember, the total is like... I guess I haven't looked at it, but I think I checked it on the wiki. wondering if this guy was still going to throw fire at me. Guess so. Oh. It's a useful item. Uh, I guess I should... Take off some armor here. Let's see, what is it? Um, 60, I think I have to be below 31 or something. Um, I think having heavy legs on would make it hard, but it's not. Just inspect this here for a second. I haven't actually, I guess I made the jump from the other side. This shouldn't be too hard. The only other time I jumped over here was when I fell. So I fell over here. You know, you think they could just be nice and put like a bridge over to this place or something. Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> Not exactly the smartest place to run a business from. Most of your customers can't reach you. Oh, I can get the Golem Helm too. Or wait, what's the Golem Helm? Or is that the thing I fought at the end of Sense Fortress? No, maybe that was... I guess that was him, wasn't it? I feel like I was under the impression if you went and fought the next boss, you wouldn't be able to get the previous boss's items, but... I guess that's wrong. A uh, total... 17... 22? Oh wait, no, no, 23. So I guess I need to... try to eat some stuff if I'm gonna wear this. Or go... Well, that is a shame. But no, come back again. I'm always available. No, there'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Well, I've saved a lot of souls here, so maybe... I'm sure some of these give like 10,000 or something. And there we go. 10,000? I said I need 23. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with these souls. I'm gonna wiki it real fast. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is going to give five, I guess I'll just take another ten. It pains me to use these. Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I guess it's for a good cause. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, there is someone there. I don't... It's like it always thinks I'm moving my controller when I'm not. When I press X. I can buy his stuff, too. You don't even have to kill him for it. That's a nice helmet. The look, the look of it, that is. I'm just buy this fatty armor set here. Protector of the Cathedral at the Forsaken City of Anor Londo. Offers extremely high defense, can be worn by humans, but not without great difficulty. I guess Small is not a human? Should buy this bottomless box too. So I can get some stuff out of my inventory. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I should have bought that a long time ago. 
Gold Pine Resin. Applies lightning. I kind of already have lightning on my weapon, but... I'm sure that's good for PvP. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually, so I am willing to share some tips. If you see kindling in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repel the reassembling skeletons. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually, so I am willing to share some tips. The cursed ghosts of New Londo are oh, formidable new. foes. To face them, you will require special arms or a cursed body. The quickest way to be cursed? Try the bug-eyed lizards in the sewer. Desperate measures, to be sure. I'd say. Hmm. Let's see what else he has to you say. You are a fine trading partner. Rumor it may be, but I have heard of a surviving ancient dragon who resides in this land. A coterie of undead serves the dragon, as they train to become dragons themselves. Sounds unlikely, but you never know, do you? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Time to put on my fat armor. Um, 106, that is plus 14 over this. Uh, this is probably going to put me over. Actually, the weight wasn't that big of a difference, was it? It was actually less. Is it less for all of them? 10 point. It seems kind of like it is. 17, yes. This is a good deal. It's a good trade off. Um, I'm not sure if I can take this off. I mean, I might just have to wear a smaller helmet. So when I take this off, it reduces my max equip load, the Mask of the Father. Well, I'm close. Pretty close. I could find a slightly less heavy helmet. I can wear this. It's a pretty sweet helmet. Oh, that takes me just under half, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm like an overweight Lao Trek. <laughs> I wonder if the fatness of my armor will hinder me going around an edge like this. I feel so self-conscious about my appearance now. I'm hideous. Oh wait, <laughs> I just remembered maybe I should take this off before I make the jump just in case. It's like I go from obese to anorexic in two seconds. Time to get dressed again. So, into the Tomb of the Giants. I'm not sure if I can warp there. Or if I can, I'm not sure if I found the right torch, I mean bonfire for it. Be really nice. Oh, I don't think I have to walk, or run, I'm going to take some stuff out of my inventory, okay so I figured out here that you can downgrade in a, a cult club to a divine club, I think, that's it's a downgrade, I'm not sure it's an upgrade. So, that's what I'm gonna do, because it's gonna be slightly better than my Divine Morning Star. Well, I guess it's a lot better in terms of Divine Damage and regular, so. But that's what I'm gonna do here. So, I guess that is a downgrade. But then I can use that in the T Tomb of the Giants. And that should be more effective if it's anything like the catacombs. Don't get yourself killed. All right, we'll see how well I can remember how to get back there. All right, I'm back. 
So this is the incredibly fun part. Um, not sure whether or not to put the lantern in my right or my left hand. Please tell me I brought the lantern. There it is. Uh, I, maybe you have to use it in your <laughs> left hand then. Uh, I, I do kind of like having my crystal ring shield out though. I can just be a pro and switch between them quickly. Let's try it. So it does have to be in your left hand. Well, this makes this part significantly easier. Don't know how to get that. Now I can actually navigate this area. Interesting. I can never see any of this stuff before. Can't remember where the first big skeleton is. I think he's right up here. Um See, I don't think you can use this in the... Oh, that's right. I forgot, you kind of want a weapon that has a high, really high damage output on your right hand. I think I've been using the Grave Lord Sword for that. Oh, that's going to put me over roll capacity, though. Not that it really matters. I don't really roll that much. Okay. Anyway, so I think the first skeleton's right, right up here. See if I can just see how much damage this does. It's a fair amount of damage. Ouch. Not used to using this weapon. Oh, I don't want to die. Oh, God. Well, that's pretty pathetic. I'm not sure if I've ever even died to one of these guys before. What did I rest that? Okay, I rested here. Well, time to head back. Okay, so let's try this again. I think part of the problem is having this club. There are two problems. Having this club was not good in this situation. And also, I didn't have my Chloranthy ring. Kind of makes a big difference, actually. It's pretty, pretty noticeable. To be honest, I'm not even sure why I try to keep myself under equip load. It's 50%. It's not like I ever roll anyway, so... And... I should have my Grave Lord sword here so I can switch to it for my ring, ring shield. Now let me try to not fail this time. I really dislike this first area. <laughs> 